Hi friends. Um, while I was traveling, I started to think about, you know, that this might be a really great Monday tip video for everybody. Um, I have been traveling and trying to cover a lot of territory in a really short amount of time. Now right now a lot of the western states are really experiencing heat waves, so it's as hot everywhere. I've been having to deal with like 90s and triple digits everywhere, so it's been just so extremely hot. And during this time of travel, I started to realize, oh my gosh, I really need to get these front windows open where I can put the windows down, but also keep bugs out when I'm in those areas that have a little bit more bugs or sometimes uh, it'll get a little bit more buggy right at sunset, okay? So no matter where, where I'm at or just a pit stop and trying to get from point A to point B and I land in a spot and it's a little buggy, than I'm more comfortable with. I, I wanted to be able to get these windows open uh, when I'm inside the van. So what I came up with was a great idea. <laughs> and also, hopefully from a mistake I made, can also prevent you from making that mistake. I've had this for almost a year. Okay, everybody knows about these screen doors that they sell for people's homes. Well, at that time, a lot of the van people were buying them for their vans, and I bought mine, like I said, a year ago, but never did nothing with it. And then after a while, I started seeing, well, gee, none of the van people have theirs anymore. You know, what's going on? Well, I think it was like a couple months ago, I finally put it up on my window, on my door, where my side door opens and then what I found out is when where the center is where the magnets end up joining together well in between that area it ends up flapping open well when you're traveling or in this kind of lifestyle and on the road and camping and places like that um, it can be a little more buggy like I said with mosquitoes and things like that at night and the last thing you want is them to come through or even moths I mean you might look a bunch of moths in here and everything um, so what happens is they can see the light through the gap through the openings and because they're attracted to light and they end up coming through so that did not work out I could see right away I thought wait a minute here what's going on because it doesn't stay perfectly flush and it's really hard to keep it that way in between the magnets. So I put it on like late afternoon and then the next day it was down. I said this is not going to work. But I ended up, you know, hanging on to it because I thought well maybe I can use it for another reason. Okay, so I'll tell you what that reason is but in the meantime won't work in a van. <laughs> Come up with another idea. Okay, save yourself. I think it's like 15 bucks so save yourself some money. But in my situation, I already bought it, had it for a while, and I thought, well, when I realized it was going to work on my door, maybe I could use it for my front windows. And I got into a situation where it was a little bit more bugs as I was traveling, and I thought, and hot, this would be perfect, got to get it up there on my window, and that's exactly what I did, and it did work out perfect. The great thing about a lot of the corners already had the border, but just the area where I might have cut it, that's the area that I just use like duct tape or you, you could have um, Gorilla Tape. Uh, actually, I have Gorilla Tape on this one and duct tape on the other because I ran out of the Gorilla. But anyway, so I ended up just taking it and putting half of it on one side and folding it over and just kind of, you know, then just kind of squeezing it together and I just kind of made myself a border around the area where you know I wanted it to have a little cleaner look after I cut it to size. So one thing you can do if you want to put a little more time into it or a little bit maybe more neat would be to go to a fabric store and get some kind of border or something and you could do something like that if you want to but I'm happy with this. 
The other thing I did uh, is Velcroed it around. I don't know if I'll always keep the Velcro there. I may change it out and I may end up getting uh, magnets, you know, to put up there later. But I was in a hurry to get this done now since we were in a situation where I needed to keep some bugs out. So that worked out perfect. Milo doesn't like bugs. Anything that makes this buzz, buzz, buzzy sound, he just is, especially flies. I mean, he just doesn't like the sound of them. If a fly gets in, he panics. I have to get it out, you know, take care of it. Moths are fine because they're more quiet, but he just really doesn't like buggy sounds, which is good because when he sees a bee, there's something about to a bee sound. Boy, he's out of there, which is good because it'll keep him safe. Um, so anyways, I wanted to keep him a little more comfortable because this area has a little bit more flies and, you know, and I, he doesn't need to be terrified, you know, when he's in here. Outside, he goes, he, he stays underneath the van and he can run away from them, but he mostly hibernates underneath the van. I think he realized that flies fly up more. They really don't go that low and go underneath the van, so that's his little safety spot a lot of the time. Um, the, the door, what I have used on my door is a mosquito netting that you can buy for campers. And they put it over their maybe sleeping area as they're, you know, backpacking or whatever, camping. And this netting is really nice for my main door because it doesn't distort your, your view. Where I notice when I put this one up for that short period, the lines and everything kind of distorted the view and also the color. But this one here is kind of like a greenish material and, the, and it's more fine. And so I love it because it doesn't distort your view and it's, it's wonderful. The only thing I still need to do is cut it to size and border it and do a better job. All I did is barely just cut it and pinned it up with the hooks that came with it up at the top and then I just clip it around the door on the sides and I'll show you that in a second. But for these windows here, um, this is fine because I'm not twisting my head looking out majority of the time. <laughs> I'm looking this way. Um, so for the door, this is great. I mean, for the window, this is great because then when I do close my door and have this down, the, the, the bugs can't see the light on the inside through the black material. So I kind of do like the black on the front door, on the front windows. Um, but not for the main one looking out. So that's fine back there. So I noticed that last night I was expecting to see all kinds of mosquitoes all over this thing, you know, and stuff because of the lights and no, didn't even. So I think it must distort the light and, you know, so they can't get, they're not attracted to trying to get inside. So that was pretty cool to, to see that. All right. So let me show you what I did real quickly and be thinking about this especially when you're traveling in the warmer months um, definitely it made a world of difference in the last 24 hours for us this works for this particular door because I need to get in and out quickly I mean there's times I just need to get Milo out for potty get him back in real quickly at night so the clips work the best in this situation in the draping effect. Um, the reason is because this is plastic over here and I've got material. There's like a really kind of, I don't know, insulated material on this side all the way around the door. Kind of like this, it's a material. So I can't do anything magnetic, and I don't want to do Velcro. I mean, I tried, but on the outside, but it was, it's not going to be easy getting in and out of one side or the other side if it's Velcro. So right now, I don't know. If, if anybody's got any ideas, definitely put them in there. But I need to be able to, un, you know, I unclip, I, I get out. Oops, there's a bug already there. So I just unclip it. I go out. And then I could take care of it and slip right back in again. And I attach it right here. There's a clip. And then I attach it on the outside up on my awning. Um, little round part that 
you know, you twist and it opens up the awning. And then I just put a little, little piece of tape there and that holds it up there. So, I mean, it's not the most prettiest. I kind of would like to cut it a little bit more to size and then put maybe just a little bit of weights at the bottom so the weights would just kind of hold down the bottom. I'll fold it up and tape it with some weights, maybe cut it more to size. But as far as getting in and out, I, you know, I could probably put a post in here, but then I've got to cover... I've got to cover this part too, so I don't know. Right now, the way the door is and the material around the door, I don't have a lot to work with, and it works. So that's what matters for now. All right, so I'm going to show you my, my windows. Oh, first let me show you the view. I don't know if you can tell. Hopefully you can. I don't know. I'm looking right into the sun. The sun is setting right on this side. Uh, but I don't know if you can tell because of the way the light is going, but it doesn't distort the view, okay? So without the, the sun, I don't know if you can tell, but it really does not distort, distort the view when you're looking outside. Maybe if I put it up close. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really happy with the way I can look outside. All I did was I just put the border around it and then I Velcroed it. And I have to make this fast because there are a lot of flies and stuff lying around. And I just Velcroed it all the way around in some corners. And then just use the tape to make, you know, a little bit more of a clean border for something in a quick hurry, something fast. I mean, it works. It's doing the job that I need it to do. And that's the most important thing. And I can do magnets later if I want to, but right now the Velcro is going to work fine. So that's what I did. And then when it's shut, see, nice. And I can still roll up my window up and down and it doesn't interfere. I could actually keep it up if I want to and not take it down unless I absolutely have to. But yeah, so that works really, really well for me really happy and then of course that's how I hook up the um, the other uh, you know camping mosquito net and then I just unhook it from up there when I leave I hope you found this video useful or something to think about if you're about to go out on the road or if you're struggling right now maybe an idea of what to do in a pinch you know, they sell this material, also the netting, like a lot of um, hardware stores. But honestly, if you got one large mosquito net that they sell at a um, sporting goods store, you would have enough material to do a door and your windows out of that. It's just I gave mine away, the other part of this, to a friend uh, a while ago. and But if I would have kept it, I would have done the the windows now that I have loved it so much, <laughs> you know. But anyways, uh, so I hope it was something useful, helpful for you guys to think about. And uh, yeah, you'll definitely love having something up there. I can't believe I waited so long to do it. All right, so um, I love you all and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.